Hello Libra and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do your love reading for the months of November. And please keep in mind that these readings are general readings and it may or may not going to resonate with each one of you. So take what resonates and leave the rest Libra. And Libra you can also check your other readings on my channel for having more information about your relationship. So let's get started with the reading. Spirits, guides, angels, what does the Libra's person is thinking and feeling about them, please? What does the Libra's person is thinking and feeling about them, please? So we are having here Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, The Fool, and Five of Swords. So what are the Libra's feelings towards this person, Spirits? So we are having here the Moon. Ten of Cups, the Tower, and Judgment. So what's the mutual energy? So we are having here Three of Wands and pay this Queen of First Wands in mutual energy. So Libra, signs could be related with your person or could be related with you. It could be any Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with this Queen of Swords, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords and also with this Five of Swords. It could be any Cancer and Pisces with this Moon card, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with this Ten of Cups, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with this Three of Wands and it could be any Aries with this Fool card. But we can see here this um, Air energy, Libra energy aquarius energy it's just more there it could be any gemini as well and uh, we can also see watery energy as well so it could be any water sign or it could be any air sign so let's talk about your person's feelings towards you so wow so we can see here seven of swords and we can also see here Five of Swords in their feelings and we can see both these cards together. So it's a clear sign of narcissism. It's a clear sign of manipulator here. So I feel like that they have some kind of issues. They are conditioned in that way in which they feel manipulation it's very important for life you know it's like a person conditioned in that way in which they just cannot live without it you know they cannot uh, you know live without manipulating others they feel like that this is the only way and they manipulate even in the relationships as well but they also know with this seven of swords because of manipulating you because of playing games with you because of betraying you they have lost your trust and now you know, you are not going to trust this person anymore. They cannot have this relationship with you so easily. They cannot have you back in their life. But the thing is that with this Ace of Swords, they want to have you back. They want to build this relationship with you. They want to, you know, continue things with you. But this is going to be tough because in order to be with you, they will have to transform. They will have to be a better person. They will have to do something they have never done before. So this is actually a big challenge for this person, how they're going to have you in their life. We can also see here moon and five of swords. So this, uh, you know, not moon, it's actually fool. So fool here, it's the major arcanum here. So the thing is that because they are like this narcissist, you know, they are like this, uh, you know, manipulator, seven of swords, five of swords. They know that they have made you walk away from the situation. They betrayed you. They humiliated you. They lied to you. But the thing is that now they want to have a new beginning. They want to have you back in their life. Here. And in order to have you back in their life, they will have to take a leap of faith. They will have to do something they have never done before. So the thing is that, that uh, you know, transforming themselves, it's very tough. You know, because usually, you know, for manipulators, it's not easy to transform. It's a big challenge. But they also want to have your love in their life as well. They want you in their life as well. So it's it's going to be very tough for this person to have you back in their life but the thing is that that you know they can see your value right now and that's why you know they feel like that they should have a new beginning and you start with you again and in your feelings we can see moon and ten of cups so they were definitely keeping you in confusion and illusion you were always feeling stuck you were not knowing where things are going what is happening there so you were completely manipulated that we can see here because you know you want to have a ten of cups you want to have family children something for a long haul peaceful relationship you don't want to have drama in your relationships but you can only have drama in a relationship especially with this person and with this tower card now you know you are having shocking realization so your illusions and and you know you know your illusions and confusions 
you know, they are simply collapsing. And now you can see the reality of this relationship, reality of this person. And now you are peacefully transforming with more understanding with this judgment card. Could be having some kind of judgment of this situation as well right now. And in mutual energy, we can see three of wands and queen of swords here. So with this three of wands, definitely right now, this person is missing you, watching you from a distance here. But they are also in some kind of comfort zone. So if they want to be with you, they will have to come out of their comfort zone and they will have to do something, you know, do something they have never done before. Probably they will have to transform. They will have to understand things. They will have to have more wisdom. And here we see queen of swords. <laughs> but the thing is that you are also becoming very logical and mindful. So Libra, this is your energy. This is you. This is queen of swords. And you are in that way right now. You know, you could be cutting this person off and you are also, you know, giving cold shoulder to this person. You are not ready to, you know, tolerate any kind of, uh, you know, you know, humiliation right now or bad behavior. You want the other person to treat you right. So let's see what else we have. So here we see seven of wands, knight of cups. And in outcome, we can see Knight of Swords here. So with the Seven of Wands here, I feel like that right now you are standing up for yourself and setting some kind of standards in the matter of relationship. And if they want to be with you, they will have to match with those standards. Here we can see Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups here, it's the clear sign that in order to be with you, they will have to come and they will have to offer you love. They will have to give you what you want, what you deserve. Otherwise, they cannot be with you. Otherwise, they cannot have your love in their life. In outcome, we can see Knight of Swords swords here but this person is right now very frustrated because you have become the queen of swords could be cutting this person off but they want to have your attention they want you to you know keep on giving your love and affection to this person even if they are not treating you right here but that thing is not happening right now so they are very frustrated they want your attention they want to have your love in their life here and now I feel like that they are tasting their own medicine they were not treating you right in this situation and now you could be also not treating them in a way they want you to treat them. So I feel like that they feel bad right now. And uh, it's a person, you know, you know, it's like a, you know, person treating everyone with a kind, with a certain kind of manner. And now the other person is also treating this person in the same manner. So they don't like it. So that's why they are frustrated because they want to have your attention. They want to have your love, but they are not able to have that. And here we see keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, strings along, one night stand. So you have many options in the matter of love and relationships and could be having some you know, new people approaching you. And also we can see here abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude, bliss. So you are also having a lot of abundance in your life and a lot of gratitude for that. But whatever you will manifest, definitely you are going to have that in your life here. So manifest carefully. So let's see what else we have. What else for Libra? Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Right now, you could be also trying to resolve some family issues, could be spending more time with your family because, you know, you and probably you feel like that you should have a better bond with them because you have some kind of... Uh, you know, doubts that you are not able to have right kind of bond with them or not able to spend more time with them. So you could be trying to understand them more. And this way you are healing your family issues. So it's also helping you in your own life as well. So this is the reading I have for my Libra people here. Hope it's resonated with you. If it's resonated, so you can like and subscribe to my channel. God bless you Libra and love you so much. Take care.